joined by Wittenberg University after their semifinal victory, joined by head coach Paco Labrador, student athletes Kimmy Dyer and Hannah Riley. Coach, if you can just start us off by giving us a statement about the game tonight. Sure. Um, I give a lot of kudos to Eastern for playing us as tough as any team must play us defensively and uh, specifically to um, to their hitters. I mean, their hitters did a great job of finding all of the angles, finding all the seams, and doing a really great job of um, challenging us to play as good as we could possibly play. It was a really well-matched team. I think the, both matches, both teams played their hearts out, and it was um, it was a lot of fun. I had a good time coaching that match. Questions for Coach of the Student Athletes? Coach, what does it mean to you to be in the national championship game tomorrow? Well, it's a goal that we've had as a program for a real long time. Uh, when I came into the program nine years ago, uh, one of the goals that they had when I took over the position was winning a national championship. And uh, I think that uh, it's been something that we focus on and we don't shy away from saying it. We don't uh, just say, let's just have a, a good journey or anything like that. We say, let's, let's, let's work hard and win a national championship. And these are the expectations that we have in our program. We've come up short for the last nine years, but that's okay because they've been given their all, and now um, I think we have a good combination, a good recipe for um, for you know getting this far. I think the, the collection of seniors that we have, combined with uh, some of the some of the juniors that we have, and and a pretty nice freshman is seems to be the right 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 group. Was there a different mindset knowing that? that every team in this tournament, as you came into the tournament, was looking for their first national title in volleyball. Is that, because usually there's at least one or two schools that have been there, done that. Exactly, yeah, you know, I, I, at first I, I thought about it, and the truth of the matter is, you know, I'm a very logical person, and a logical person will look and say, the teams that are here played better than the teams that aren't here right now. Right. Uh, historically, maybe not, but in this week of November, they are playing better than them so they are the best and uh, I did not come in thinking that it was going to be you know because there's no big names that it was going to be just a no-name show I knew that every team in here was going to be able to, to play excellent volleyballs. From an experience standpoint though that might have been something that you knew that other teams didn't have an edge over you in that department I guess. Yeah I mean this group hasn't been to a final four or an elite eight uh, I have and my one of my coaches Amy Cox had been to one when she was a freshman but as a group they hadn't I will say that it was good for me once we won in the regional final to sit the team down on Monday and have a meeting and say hey this is what you can expect you can expect banquets and you can expect CBS sports and you can expect a really nice hotel and you can expect free breakfasts and things like that and so I think they started realizing that um, there was going to be potential for a lot of distractions and I, uh, I think they went in knowing how to stay focused and how to make sure that this was still a business trip we're not here for vacation and uh, so that may have been a little bit of an advantage that I've been to a few. challenges does Chris Newport pose Newport I think is equally if not better defensively. Uh, they scrap for every single point and they're a nice swing blocking team so even though they may not look real big they use the swing block very well. I think they're a real disciplined team and they have a lot of guns just a lot of hammers that they can go to and a setter that can again we're, we've been playing against some really good setters between Cal Lutheran setter and Eastern setter and now Christopher Newport setter. Um, our poor middles are going to need a, a vacation um, after this weekend. But, um, no, they do present a challenge both from a defensive standpoint and their offense looks just so sharp. It's real discipline. It's real um, efficient. They, they make the right choices at the right times. So you're not going to get an easy point. You're going to have to really battle. And, and much like the way Eastern did tonight, there was rallies where we were taking three and four and five swings in a rally just to try to find the floor. And, so um, hopefully tonight's match kind of warmed us up for what we can expect for tomorrow. And then Kimmy, what does it mean to each one of you to be advanced in the national championship? Um, for me, I, I was recruited with the mindset of this program's goal is to win a national championship, like Paco said. And the three previous years, we have did come up short, and it's just it's awesome. It's so cool to finally have your goal and your dream in reach. Yeah, I agree with Kimmy. Um, <clears throat> I transferred in my sophomore year, and um, it was just immediately 
this is our goal, this is what we're doing to reach it. Every workout, every practice was, was oriented around the drive to win a national championship. And um, it's been really driving us. And it's just incredible, it's an incredible experience. Anna, talk a little bit about the atmosphere on the court tonight and what you expect tomorrow because Christopher Newport brought quite a few fans of their own, so it should be pretty raucous. And I know your fans last night had face painting tonight with some chest. I hesitate to think what <laughs> tomorrow might bring, but talk a little bit about the atmosphere you're expecting. Um, well, tonight the atmosphere was really fun. We just we just went out there and enjoyed ourselves, and honestly, we hope to do the same tomorrow. Like. You know, there's no reason to put yourself under so much pressure when, you know, it, it ha you know, um, you have kind of a negative response to that. So it's just really important for us as a team and as individuals to just really go out there and just play with our best friends and just have fun and shake mistakes off and just kind of move forward. Kimmy, how much do nagging injuries hurt at this point in the game? Um, honestly, not very much. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it, the adrenaline kind of takes over, so you don't really feel the ankle sprain or the shoulder or the back. Or, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Coaching staff needs more kinesio, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for Coach of the Student Athletes? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right.